Hey everyone, Kevin Anderson here with Healthmark Industries. Wanted to do another quick tips video for sterile processing for you. This one's going to be all about loading peel pouches in your sterilizer. However, before I get started, I just want to remind you all to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we have a new video for you. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because we get the privilege of going around into different departments and things like that. So we see a lot of different things in the real world, but we want to share those experiences with you so that we can all collectively get better and make our uh, sterile processing practice uh, the highest quality uh, possible. So what about these peel pouches is uh, going on here? This is what I wanted to draw your attention to. Uh, the peel pouches are on edge. It looks like they tried to kind of bunch them up and, 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 and get them to stay on edge, but clearly that didn't happen throughout the sterilization process. One of them fell over, which isn't surprising if you've ever seen what happens inside of the sterilizer, how they blow up and all of that. <laughs> it's not surprising that some of them fell over. At any rate, these pouches are too close together. They should not be, uh, bunch together like that. However, uh, if you think that this doesn't happen very frequently, it does. Here's another example. All right. And up there on top of this rack is a tray that is holding a bunch of peel pouch items. They're using the tray because it's, again, it's holding all these peel pouches on edge. But again, we have the same problem. They're not spaced out. They're all bunched together uh, too too tightly. In fact, if you saw the side profile view of this tray, you would see there are a lot of peel pouches in there, uh, which isn't ideal. Uh, so that's one problem. But there's a second problem here, and that's that this tray of peel pouches is stacked on top of a rigid container that has, as you know, in the in the lid, there are filters that allow for the sterilant to come into contact with all the contents of the tray. Now we have this tray of peel pouches on top of it, potentially acting as a barrier to that sterilin. So that is definitely not a good practice. So there's a third thing here, though, that I wanted to bring up, and that's just your process. It's not so much IFUs or standards and guidelines. It's your process. We want to be efficient and complete when it comes to documenting our sterilizer load. And many of you have instrument tracking systems. There's going to be barcode labels on those uh, pill pouches. And you have to go and you scan these things in. Well, you'd also want to be able to verify that you scanned everything into your, um, uh, into your load uh, documentation. And in order to do that, you have to sift through all these peel pouches and look at their labels and all of that. It's going to be really challenging to do that if you're loading your sterilizer the way you see here in the picture. But we do have to be concerned about standards and guidelines and understanding what they say about our practice when it comes to loading peel pouches. So ANSI Amy ST79, it says that paper uh, plastic pouches should stand on edge in relation to the Carter shelf. The previous examples, they were trying to accomplish that, but in, in many ways, it, it wasn't quite done the right way, right? Uh, but it's always important to understand the rationale which is given here as well. Why do we do this? Well, it's going to be because if we load it on edge and we properly space them, then it's going to have adequate sterilant contact and drying, which both components are very, very important when it comes to steam sterilization. We also need to know what our IFU say. Here's an example, Steri-King pouches, very common in the industry today. What does it stay, say about loading the peel pouches? Be sure to arrange the pouches in such a way that there is minimal to no contact between pouches. Clearly, those uh, first examples were not doing the best job at that. So we're not following the IFU and we're not following the guidelines. So we want to get away from practices like this. And what do we want to move to? We want to move to practices like you see here. All right. There are two big things that I wanted to point out here. Um, one is that 
you need the proper accessories. Okay. This is something that people often refer to maybe as the taco holder. It kind of does look like one, but whatever you call it, we use these accessories in order to hold the peel pouches properly on edge, properly spaced. And that second thing I wanted to bring up is that they're properly loaded and facing all in the right direction. You see all the paperbacks of these peel pouches because they're all facing the same direction, which is, that's the correct way to load your peel pouches on the sterilizer cart. So what are you going to do if you have different items uh, that you peel pouch, right? Well, there are different sizes and shapes and variations of these taco holders that you can use to uh, hold your peel pouches not real taco holders <laughs> these are real accessories meant for sterilization so don't go out and get taco holders but uh, they are available uh, many people have them we have them uh, on health mark at our website the website will be in the link in the description below for your review uh, but find the ones that you need at your facility and make sure you have the proper accessories but one of the important things about doing videos like this is we want to help you take action in your facility. So what does that look like? Well, the first thing you need to do is assess what's going on. What does the current state look like in your facility when it comes to loading peel pouches? Does it look like those first few pictures that I showed you uh, where they're just kind of thrown on there, bunched up or whatever? Uh, are you using the proper accessories? If not, then maybe you need to make a purchase. That's taking action, right? Pro uh, purchase the proper accessories. What do you need in your facility? Uh, is it accommodating all the different devices you're peel pouching? Get the right ones, right? Uh, but we can't stop there. You can't just buy and then hope for the best, right? We need to educate our team, help them understand why proper loading is important. What do the standards and guidelines say? What does the IFU say? Make sure they're trained and competent in peel pouch loading of the for your sterilizer and then you're going to implement this right write a new standard operating procedure or sop as sometimes people refer to them as right how, on how to load the peel pouches and then make sure that the process is happening make sure it's happening on day shift and afternoon shift and midnight shift make sure it's happening on the weekends right Remember, it's not enough to buy a tool and just sit it out there and educate. You need to make sure that it's actually happening, right? Old habits die hard, I will tell you. So I hope you found this video helpful and we look forward to producing some more for you. And thanks for watching.